Today on your Geek Picks, we're going to be using a previous project to build a small scale Japanese style diorama display. But first, this is your Geek Fix. So let's rewind back in time a little bit uh, to when we made these buildings. You'll remember that we had this competition and uh, to figure out how easy it was to make them. And so we used multiple ages and we assembled all these little buildings right here. You might also remember that I thought about using them for some type of uh, Christmas tree decoration, which actually I did, and uh, found out at that point in time they do work well uh, with these little lights on the inside. They look pretty good. But um, I was really wanting something that I could hang up uh, year-round and uh, that would look pretty nice. As you can see, though, I typically use bookshelves to put my stuff on, and so I thought, well, what a better way to display it than to use some kind of a bookshelf. So I went to the store, and I think Hobby Lobby, and I bought this, and I'm planning it's about the right width. It might be a tad too short, uh, but we'll find out uh, for these different houses. I'm pretty sure that uh, it will make it look pretty good. It's the right color wood, too. I think uh, this will look nice. Also, I had a picture in my mind that we would have some trees behind it. And uh, I wasn't sure what kind. I want to be able to experiment on that, too. I really like um, these little Japanese trees. I did look at some autumn-looking trees. So we have a few different colors to kind of choose from that uh, would go behind these houses. And, and I think they look all right. But what I really liked is these Japanese-style trees. Um, the only problem I'm having with them is it looks like all of the little flowers come off pretty easily. Um, and I'm actually hoping to use that to my advantage to some extent, but uh, but we'll see. If I'm going to be doing something behind it, I also needed something for ground cover. So I have uh, some grass over here. We also have some other options. Some loose leaves. These are those autumn colors, though, uh, which um, I, I might not even be using. Uh, so, <laughs> so that's where my, my alternative plan of uh, some of those leaves, some of those flowers that are coming off using those. Um, we also have some different floral shapes and uh, reindeer moss that we can use. So I think we can experiment a little bit as we go along. The thing I will say if you're going to purchase this kind of stuff is don't do it at the last second. All of these I actually purchased along the way. So if you go to uh, Hobby Lobby, um, you might be able to catch stuff like this. It would typically be, uh, looks like around $10. You could get it for half of that or a quarter of it. Um, also using different types of coupons. The dollar store is actually where I found a lot of this stuff. And so you won't believe the price. It's a dollar. Uh, I also have some sand here, which I thought if I wanted to, I could create some uh, pavement with. So with all that, let's go ahead and get started. So one of my concerns about these buildings and uh, hooking up the lights is the fact that uh, I'm going to have to have that switch and the uh, batteries accessible. One problem with this thing is, as usual, these things have a backing to them. Um, and I don't think, I mean, there's no room for me to just slide that in. Uh, it won't go deep enough, uh, I don't think. So, nope. So, really the best place I could put it would be on the back here, but then my switch won't be available. Um, and, uh, or if I could have it where it could slide out even a little bit. So my thought is I can cut into this, but this wood in the back is pretty thick compared to what I thought it would be and I'm afraid if I start playing around with it I might actually break the whole thing. Uh, I'm afraid if I try to separate it because I think it's just glued, probably wood glue. I think I might end up breaking it although <laughs> as I push on it, oh look at that 
Oops, can I pull it out the other side? Yeah. There we go. Huh. What do you think of that? I mean, that kind of just solves it by itself, doesn't it? I think that's great. And just like that, without even planning it, I've got a way to put my battery compartment inside. Did lose part of the panel, but uh, without actually losing the back, I think that'll still hold it pretty well. I mean, look at that. It's, this is going to be light. I'm not too worried about it. But very cool. So the next thing I've got to do is to wire this up. Uh, that means I'm also going to need a hole on the top to feed my line through. I'm kind of deciding which direction to start with. I think I'm going to start over here. Let's go. So I'm going to drill one hole first that's a bit smaller uh, to guide the other ones uh, in order for me not to ruin this wood because it's pretty thin and looks a little bit fragile. So um, the other thing I've got to figure out is how far over. I'm thinking I'm going to go to right about here. <laughs> so. Now typically I'd say put this into some type of vise or something like that, but uh, for the purpose of our show, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Now, I'm going to switch out that bit. And this one's a bit bigger, but I don't think it's big enough to send those through. So you can see how uh, even doing it that way, still got a little bit of filament that came through. Uh, one thing you can do too is sometimes lay something on top and then you drill through that at the same time and it'll keep it from bunching like that. But this stuff, I mean, it's like cardboard, really. Uh, it's not like real wood. So, press board. And uh, there we go. Got a little hole for feeding that through. Next, we have some black foam board from another project that I'm going to use to uh, give us something to work with uh, to flatten this out. Uh, the number of buildings they have go too wide to fit onto the top of this, and so I'm afraid that uh, they'll be imbalanced unless I put something down on top of this. I did cut this where it goes just a little beyond, so I can tear that off like so. And this way, I've got something to kind of overlap and cover. So I'm not cutting all the way through, just far enough where I can basically remove the foam from one side. Then uh, straighten things out on the other side once I get this in here. Looks like I need just a little bit more. Oh, this is the right thickness though. Perfect thickness. Dollar store foam from a leftover project. Not too shabby. Alright. See how well that fits. Yeah. So I do know that I need to also have my hole available. And so, looks like that's right here. Poke the hole initially. Here we go. So far, so good. Like I said, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna flatten these sides out a little bit more. There we go. Folding them over. 
we go. And folding this one over as well. You should, in the end, have a pretty well formed rectangle. I also want to make sure one last time that this fits actually. That one there. One, two, and the tight fit on the end. Six. This looks pretty good so far. I also want to make sure that I have enough room for the trees. Uh, one downside is they don't stick up very much, do they? I just wanted it to be clear that there is some kind of tree line that's behind it. But yeah, unfortunately, they're not the tallest things. Let's check out these other trees I've got. Hmm. I don't know, boy, that's a, that's a tough one. They definitely are taller. And, uh, and on the upside, I could put some of the uh, leaves, the free hanging leaves uh, on the ground to match them. So it's a tough decision, but I think I'm gonna go with these trees. And the only reason for that, I, I know that the other is more traditional looking for Japan, but I can tell that over time, these aren't gonna look so good. They become like this, all the, all the pink falls off and uh, it doesn't look as realistic or as pretty um, as when you first start out. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna leave, leave, ha, uh, I'm gonna leave those off and I'm gonna go with the colored trees and use some of these leaves that are over here as well as these additional little sticky trees. The next thing for me to do is to get my grass on. Uh, as you can see, uh, these are sheets that you can buy at a hobby store, and it does look like grass with uh, that's kind of going brown in some areas. I'm actually going to cut it using some scissors. And again, I want it to go a little bit over the edges. So I think about, oh, about this far. And then a little bit over the back as well. And so I think at this point I can attach my board. You might notice from the smoke coming off that this uh, gun is a bit hotter than most out there. And uh, the reason for that is I like one that's pretty strong. Uh, that also makes the glue hot enough I can still lay it out. I'll take my piece of green grass. I'm gonna attach that. Okay, like so. We got our grass applied. Uh, like I said, I didn't do it all the way to the edge because that's where the front of the houses will be. And I don't want uh, it to look like there's grass in front of them. So I think I'm ready to actually go ahead and start stringing the wire through because I'm going to have to do this before I attach the houses permanently. Woohoo! Make sure that they still, they still work. They do. They work okay. Okay. So with the wires all fed through, I can now start uh, wiring up my buildings. Feed this one up through here. Okay. One through. Now we're ready to actually secure it uh, to the base. Okay. And Next, I've gone ahead and stuck in the trees temporarily just so I have my holes so I know where they go. And uh, then, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put some leaves on the grass 
back here in the alleyway behind it. Uh, so it looks like we've had some, some leaf falling. I'll get out my leaves here. Now at the same time, these are a huge, can make a huge mess. So I'm gonna be careful a little bit. And, uh, but, boy. So I think the way I'm gonna do it is just open up the very corner where I can sprinkle them. And then, I'm gonna use some of this, uh, kind of semi-sparingly. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just glued my fingers together in a split second. Look at that. Go, go to the hospital now. All right. <laughs> Another way to do this would be with a spray. Okay, and then sprinkle this on. So. Yeah, we've got quite a few that are on there right at the moment. Of course, I want the leaves to be piled most around where the tree actually is. And so, we're gonna actually put down some trees with excess glue. Helps to be able to do this here. Like so. And then I'll take, again, a lot of these trimmings here. And we'll put those on there. only one I had that really uh, part that's supposed to stick in. Uh, round it too. Okay. And there it is. So far, pretty good. One more thing I decided to do evolving this gravel and uh, we'll see how this works so okay I, uh, I like that effect in fact, I like it. I like it so well that I think I'm going to do it uh, more, and I'm going to do it on the sides as well. So, so. okay. Whoops. With a little bit more detail, uh, getting those leaves on there, this is essentially my final product. Uh, as you can see, I got some dirt and leaves also on the on the roofs, um, and then I have the back here. And just so you can see the light effect, here it is. Uh, a little more in the dark so you can see that the uh, lights or the each of the individual rooms uh, is lit up and uh, it looks pretty good from the front I think it also looks pretty good in the back yeah you can see the, the windows as they shine between the trees so Pretty cool. Once again, I can turn that uh, effect on and off by opening up the back here. So that works pretty good in the end too. So I hope you liked this project. It was pretty fun to make. I hope that you think things through better than I did. Uh, make it less of a mess. I have a clump of sand or rocks now stuck to the uh, table, but uh, I'm pretty pretty satisfied with the final product. I gotta say. So please like, subscribe, let us know what you think of this. Be sure to send us your project if you did something like this. And uh, also like, subscribe, and keep watching because we're gonna have more things for you to see very soon.